Stakes time as we kick off the early pick four here in tonight's fourth race. Fourth race sponsored by Diamond Creek Farms. Here they come. Often pacing, good speed inside, Century Inspector leaves, so does Bob Blah Blah from the outside, market based, wider, Stonebridge Helios. Bob Bla Blah, Blah joined outside by market based. Here's Stonebridge Helios third, powering up for McClure. Taken back into fourth century, Inspector off the speed in fifth is Nautical Hanover. Sixth away at the rail left out, Atlas Hanover. Further back towards the inside to race along from in seventh is Many Moons, and the trailer from an eighth is Sports Box. Quarters up, 27 and 3. To the front goes the favorite Stonebridge Chelios here. Market base to second. Gap of four to Bob Blah Blah, then Century Inspector and Nautical Hanover. Further back we go to Atlas Hanover. Final two are many moons. And Sportsbox continues to trail. They're past three eighths. They're half mile bound. Stonebridge Chelios leads. Market base continues second. Bob Blah Blah is third. The rail fourth. Century Inspector. Fifth inside to Nautical Hanover. And sixth is Atlas Hanover. Final two are many moons and sports box trails. 56 and 3 the first half, very sensible speed. Stormbridge Helios leads the way as McClure starts to peck away at him going into the final turn, calling on him for speed. Second is Market Base, then Bob Blah Blah from in third. Market Base tips, Dunn is on the attack. Bob Blah Blah picks up cover, third now. Century Inspector back into fourth, outside from in fifth. Here drives Nautical Hanover as the speed quickens to three quarters. Bob Blah Blah is off stride around the turn. Three quarter bounce, Stormbridge Helios leads. Pressure from market based. Three quarters in 125, and they're into the stretch. And it's Stonebridge Chelios now digging deep. He's open to a two and a half length lead now. Market based to second on the outside. Then it's back third to Century Inspector. Late speed from Atlas Hanover outside. There drives Nautical Hanover. This one's over. Stonebridge Chelios romps. And it's Stonebridge Chelios cruising in the Champlain to a four length win. Market based was second. Then Century Inspector and Atlas Hanover in 152 and one. All right, Robert Reed Jr. trackside with Randy Waples. We just saw Stonebridge Helios win the Champlain over $200,000 purse and one. Champlain in the books for those two-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings and it was Stonebridge Helios now making it three in a row back-to-back -back gold scores this time around capturing the Champlain here with Bob McClure talk me through the trip in here able to control the fractions there and he was good down the lane yeah I was actually uh, he just he does it he did it really easy so he ended up getting away and he was going to be in a position to either move to the front or be first up but he felt so good I just decided to give him his head and let him go cut it and uh, he got to the front and really relaxed and uh about halfway through the last turn, I just spoke to him and he swelled right up and uh, did he ever kick home? Like uh, I shut mm -hmm. him down pretty early, just kept his attention, but he's, uh, he's progressing into a, an extremely nice colt. Was there a particular type of game plan that you had here? You drew post eight, the outside here, but a smaller field in here. I know he's a extremely versatile colt. Was there anything that went into it? I really would have liked to track cover, but um, I figured the horse to beat was getting the front pretty easy. I didn't want to have to be first up on him, and I figured if I came second over with bad cover, I probably wouldn't be able to track him down. So I figured better to use him early and get in a good position. And he's just been the picture of consistency hitting the board, uh, winner of four of six thus far, two runner-up finishes. I mean, he's got to be a pleasure to drive. Yeah, he is, but uh, at first he was kind of gangly and just going through the motions, and like I say, he's rapidly improving. and. Uh, he, you know, he got beat in the first grass route, then he won the next gold, then he won a gold, and then, uh, you know, at the time he was second, it was a bad luck trip, but, you know, now he's, uh, he's by far better this week than he was the week before and the week prior, so uh, it's exciting to see how he's going to finish his year off. 
That's quite the statement, considering he did have wins in those two back-to-back -back efforts. So seeing him progress once again nicely in the Champlain, I mean, the sky's the limit for him. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Once again, Bob McClure capturing the Champlain Stonebridge Helios for trainer John Pantland in a nice time in 152-1. and